Today we're going to modify or extend Jira Service Desk using PowerScripts from C Prime. We're going to automatically add an approver to an issue based on the value of a custom field. So what I've already done is I've already created an empty script or blank script and added added it as a post function to our issue. And you can see that right here a post function to our workflow, excuse me. You can see that right here, and you can see I actually have two SIL scripts as post functions, and that's perfectly okay. So I have a custom field I use a lot for these videos called fruit, and it just has some random fruit as the values. And in the other scripts and, and videos, I uh, refer to that video, or the, the I refer to the field by the ID. And if you go to configure or edit a custom field, you can look right here up in the URL and you'll see the ID of that custom field right there. And that's where I usually grab it. And so usually I'll refer to fruit as custom field 10711. But what I normally do is I come into this Kepler home folder under our SIL manager, under SIL aliases. And I'll create an alias for fruit. So instead of referring to it like this, custom field underscore 10711, I can just call it fruit. And it just makes for much cleaner, nicer code. And I wanted to show you that. So here's my uh, blank script. And what I do need to do is find approver, because approver is just a custom field also so if you go in your custom fields there's approvers i can go to configure there it is one zero seven zero zero so all we need to do for this is say custom field and then we need to give it a username equals like for example and that would make me the approver but we want to again base this off of the value of a custom field so we're just going to create um, an if statement and we'll say if fruit is equal to apple uh, then make me the approver else if and I'm just gonna Copy this part. Orange. Oh, and I'm going to spell people's usernames wrong, but I'll fix that before we test. And then we'll say peach. Will be Johnson because he is a peach. Um, and so on and so forth. And we could continue doing that. Um, so, based on the value of fruit when you create the issue, um, it'll, it'll set the approver to those users. So, I'm going to pause it real quick and I'm actually going to verify the spelling of those uh, user IDs and I'll be right back. All right, turns out I spelled them correctly. Um, you know, everybody gets lucky now and then. So let's go ahead and test this. Uh, we'll come over here and use this screen. Create an issue. And I think. I was the apple and we'll hit create and there I am under approvers so there you go that is how you set the approver based on the value of a custom field using PowerScripts thanks for watching